All right, I gotta admit, this is very curious. So I indeed did stop here where this dot is. Um, sounds fair. But we came down, can I pull it up here? Yes. We came down, instead of cut, turning here and coming in, we came down here and made what FSD called a U-turn or navigation called a U-turn. Actually went into that parking lot and came up. Cur just <laughs> curious. I, I don't know what to think of that. But it's not a way I would have thought of. And it worked, so I'm. what can I say? All right, anyway, 19 miles, 35 minutes, 246 watt hours per mile. Just a re-bob um, since last charge light and it's a reset trip. Okay, whatever. Um, what can I say about today? Yes, he's going slow. He usually does go slow. All right, uh, oh, I'm too scared to go 50 in a 50 zoom. Okay, put my phone on accelerator, accelerate him up, let off again, he's still slow back down, so what can you do? So coming through Cedar Park, actually just east of uh, 183A, what, I, I, I'm wondering, what, how is he going to handle getting into the inside lane? Because we have a left turn coming up. Well, he finally decides he's going to cut off the Jeep, the Jeep Cherokee, whatever it is. Okay? So, yes, he turns on his turn signal. He started. As soon as that turn signal comes on, that Jeep starts accelerating. Yeah. He didn't want to surrender his base. But it shouldn't have mattered to him. He, there was enough space there. I mean, okay, whatever. Put my phone on the accelerator keep the car moving, FSD, uh, grandpa that is, no problem, okay, we come up on our left turn, two lanes turn left, he picks the outside lane, I'm like, why are you picking the outside lane, if you pick, he, nobody else was there, if you pick the inside lane, then you're set up to make your left turn up ahead, but no, he picks the outside lane, and sure enough, sooner or later, a car does come in, joins us, and so we're blocked from making a left turn, which I assume might be part of what leads into where he makes this janky parking lot maneuver. I mean, it worked. I never would have thought of that as being an option, but that's the advantage of, naviga of Tesla navigation or like Google Maps is they sit there and they compute and they explore all the alternatives. Right? And they come up with alternatives that you didn't know were there. That's the advantage that they have. All right. So anyway, and like I said, now, it stopped in front of the building past the entrance. Okay? And there was some people doing stuff. I guess somebody was getting out and somebody else was waiting for them to finish getting out so they could park next to him or something. Because, you know, you had to park right next to their front door. Otherwise, you're not a real person. Says the guy who's parked way out, almost as far out as he can go. Yes, I do that. I'd rather have space around my car. Okay. I, I, I can walk to the front door. I, 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 I'm healthy enough to do that. I... Uh, I'm sorry, that sounded a little bit sarcastic, didn't it? I mean, some people aren't. That's true. That's why they usually have handicap spots in front of the building. Anyway. It's just... all so curious. So, a lot of days drive, just like I've always said. Well, not always said, but... With 12.306. Most of it is great. As long as you can tolerate the, oh, I can't go that fast, right? I, I don't know. I don't know if 12.5 fixes that attitude or not. And the California Road Rager stupidity sometimes just gets to me, right? I mean, in the old days with FSD 11, and did I have 10? I, I don't remember. With the old days, you need a little California Road Rager to be able to move okay but I most I live most I 
I both live mostly. I live in the country. Cedar Park is big town for me, so to speak. Yeah. So, going into Austin, I don't really go into Austin at all. And and now that they have all kinds of parking rules, why bother? Too much trouble. Okay. So anyway. Well, all that said, I mean, I don't really need the California Road, just like with that Jeep Cherokee. Now, there was room in front of that Jeep Cherokee. It's just that Jeep Cherokee decided to re respond with an acceleration as soon as he saw the turn signal. Right? And with FSD, he's not going to turn as soon as he turns on the turn signal. He's going to wait like two or three beats. So to speak. Like two or three seconds. I don't even know if it's that long. Right? And probably not even that long. It's like a second. But he'll also chime. I set my car up to chime when, he, when he's going to turn. So, he has to do that chime first before he can actually commit. What, whatever. It, you know, uh, it, it's the past today and yesterday. It's more more experience with the. No, you're not getting in front of me. Um, you don't really have a choice. Right. Yesterday was more about I want to get in front of you, and I'm going like, well, FSD's off. I'm driving. No, I'm not going to surrender the space in front of me to you. Go find a different way. And like I said yesterday, I can go past breaker. I can go past the traffic light before I have to commit to getting over. And even if I can't get over right away, I can still loop around and come back. So any way you slice it, I don't have to move for you. If you're, if you're in the middle lane and I'm in the in inside lane, I don't have to move for you. So you're going to have to find a different way. And like I said, if that, if that one guy had jumped out of his car and offered me $500, let him in, as soon as I saw him getting out of the car, I would have moved in front of him and been gone. And hold, hold your, you keep your 500 bucks, no problem. Now, now you got a different problem. Okay, whatever. Peace and harmony. With that meanness said, I fully believe that at some point, whether it's robotaxi or something else, we won't be in charge of driving our cars anymore and some, sometime in the future. And I think when that change comes, it's going to be like switching from horses to, to automobiles. And that when that when that change makes sense, it's going to happen suddenly. It's not going to be like, well, it's going to take 10 years. No. Now, will it take 10 years for everybody to accept it and adopt to it? Yeah, maybe. But the people who can't adopt to it will find that things are almost impossible for them. That's the way it's going to be. Right? Because, like, go to H-E-B, the supermarket. If H-E-B doesn't have a parking lot for you to park in, you can't drive your car there. Right? Now, it could go in a different way. It could, it could say at H-E-B, well, we're going to mark off this space for robo-taxis. Okay. And that leaves you with like 10 spaces for people who can't use robo-taxis for whatever reason. You know, what do you do then? There'll be things like that, you know. Like, like I said, when it happens, it's going to be a shift, and it's going to be dramatic. I'm just hope. I just hope that you're not too in love with the way you're doing things now to make that adjustment, because you won't really have much choice. Anyway, on that positive, uplifting note. Onward and upward. Okay, welcome to the rent house. Six miles, 13 minutes, 359 watt hours per mile. Um, what is the temperature? The car says the temperature is 100 degrees. It's probably not quite 100 degrees, but it's probably pretty close. Um, I'm sorry, let me. My car is up to date. 
as of yesterday, right? All right, whatever, peace and army. Um, sorry, I was just, while I was waiting in the office, I saw a post on X from Chuck Cook, and Chuck Cook was saying that he's heard rumors about 12.5 being dropped for hardware three, but he's not sure what to make of them. Okay, I'm, I didn't know there was rumors of it, because the, the rumors I heard is, and, and you know, it's all the people who wouldn't say bad things, right? Or be negative. That way they get more attention. Anyway, what they're basically saying is hardware three, oh yeah, too bad for you, ha <laughs> ha. Well, no, Elon's already promised he's going to do something with 12.5 for hardware three. It's just a question of when. All right, so going back, navigation applied the course. We followed that course. Wow. No break on FC offs. Even when I was tempted to, I didn't. Um, at one intersection, there was a car in front of me. He didn't want to go on his turn, so to speak. And other cars were trying to figure out, should I just go in front of him or what? And um, some did. And finally, said, oh, wait, yeah, it's my turn. I should go. Yeah, you should. Thank you. All right. Coming up, Baghdad. We're, we're under 0.7 mi seven tenths of a mile to get to a left turn. And there's a line of cars to our left. All right, so human driver, foot on the accelerator, let's accelerate. And as soon as, as soon as the back of the car cleared the car we were passing, turn signal came on. Okay. If only FSD could have done that. The part about accelerating that is. Or planning the left turn a little bit better. Okay, whatever. It, it's just one of those things. You know, just give it some accelerator, get it past the space, and hopefully that works. Okay, that's... Is that literally the only place... I think there's one other place I pressed the accelerator to get him to move. Okay, those are the two. Those are the two human inputs. And so the 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 first one where we're trying to get in front of a car to get over to the left. Because the cars that that are behind this car that we're trying to pass, they're all like, oh, here's our chance to block you out. <laughs> Okay, then you leave me no choice. I have to get in front of the other card, right? I mean, you could keep going straight. There was another turn, but we weren't going to make that turn with the way the traffic was. And you could potentially go further and then do some kind of turn around and come back. But it was just easier this way. Okay, whatever. Peace and Army. Other than that, it was good. Okay. Um, I think I forgot to say this, but so it attempted to park on the street across from the house. Um, I mean, the park itself was okay, but it was blocking somebody's driveway when it's done. So I moved the car, but the good news is it was parking itself. Okay. So all that stuff is coming sooner or later. All right, welcome to the pink garage at the Domain. Yes, Tesla parks their cars down here. All right, so 20 miles, 30 minutes, 228 watt hours per mile, wow. Really? Because there's some highway speed in there. Um, then again, there was also some 40 mile per hour Lake Line Boulevard just feeding there. Okay, starting out, wow, perfect. Coming out to uh, Lake Line from, from the house, he waited for traffic on both sides, which shouldn't sound amazing, but in this particular spot, he has shown an inability to do that consistently. Although maybe he's learning. Okay, good, awesome, great. Um, 
as we're going down lake line we're in the inside lane there's relatively little traffic human driver turn on the right turn signal let's move to the outside right we don't need to hog the inside lane and fst executes it and wow good okay um coming up onto 183 or uh, us 183 there's there's a guy who's driving a mercury and he's basically riding the bump stops right every time he hits bump the back the back of the trunk is bouncing whatever i'm mentioning this guy because we kind of go by him and we get in the inside lane to go up to us 183 and uh all of a sudden, he's accelerating to go past us. So he's going by in the outside lane. Wow, wonderful, great. Um, okay, but I mean, that's what people do, right? Later on, we're passing him. I don't know if he wasn't paying attention or what the deal was, but we're going past him. And then later on, he's all the way, all the way to the inside lane. He's going by us. In all this time, yes, we have switched lanes several times to to get the best traffic flow. Pretty awesome, actually. But it shouldn't be a big deal to anybody, except he doesn't always do it, right? So that's why I'm like, yeah, this is pretty cool. All right, coming up, we're going to go up Texas Loop 1 or Mopac, depending on how you want to call it, or Texas 1 Loop. I, I don't know. I've seen different different ways. Navigation calls it different ways. To me, it's just Mopac. Okay? Anyway, as we're coming up, FSD is making appropriate moves to get into the right lane to, to go up the exit. Wherever the exit's under construction, it looked a little bit like FSD just got confused in there somewhere. Human driver brake on SDF, get him on track and she would break on this job just in time to make the exit. Whoa. All right. Nobody was harmed. I mean, the potential was there to have a serious accident, but nothing happened. Okay. Um, is that it? Oh. All right, so we come up, we we're rolling around. Once I get to the point where we're pointing towards Texas One Loop, um, it just is Loop One. Okay, whatever. Um, turn on FSD, let him take the realm or take take the reins. He 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 goes all the way to the entrance ramp. He waits till that line forces him over which is completely the opposite of what I would do. As soon as I would see, as soon as I see I can move over, I move over and claim that lane. FSD, and there is another car around who's like confused what they were doing, but once they know what they're doing, they're being very aggressive. I'm surprised he didn't come by us. Okay, whatever. Um, as we're approaching our right hand exit, FSD wants to move to the middle lane. He, he wants to go to avoid the merge. Okay. Yes, there's some slower cars in front of us. Big deal. Just follow them. But FSD can't. Oh, no. Sounds like California Road Ranger, doesn't it? Whoever it is, break on SD off. Come on, man. All right. Whatever. I mean, it's just the way it is. Right? It's FSD. Um, all right, so manually come in. As we get out through the exit, FSD back on. FSD is doing amazingly well, considering that even I don't fully know where I'm going. I mean, I know where the pink garage is. I know where how to basically get there, but I don't always know what the right roads are. And apparently neither does FSD. Because FSD, he was going to turn in somewhere, and he turned in, he ended up turning in where the garbage bins are. Yeah, they're they're the only exit is to back up back out onto the street. 
Whoops. Uh oh. But I mean, one uh, once he starts getting flustered, he gets flustered, right? It's just like a human being from that perspective. But we are here. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm debating. I'd be tempted to say right now the grades of C. That baseball would. So much of it is A plus material. But like I said the other day, it doesn't matter what your high water mark is. What matters is your low water mark. And you're lucky to get away with a C. Okay. All right, just short drive back, back from Whole Foods to uh, Domain for to go to Tesla. Um, whatever. Uh, one mile, three minutes, 812 watt hours per mile. Yeah. Okay. You would think car is already warm because it was already driven out there, and but I was inside for about 40 minutes. So there you go. All right, welcome to Walmart. 12 miles, 225 miles, 25 miles, 25 minutes, sorry. 298 watt hours per mile. And my car says it's 111 outside. Now, I don't think it's 111, but it was supposed to push 106 today. So it's definitely hot. There we are. Uh, since last charge, 58 miles, 16 kilowatt hours, 269 watt hours per mile burn up that energy oh oh oops I, I was supposed to talk about FSD wasn't I wow. <laughs> yes another mixed bag drive um, it's kind of interesting so coming up on Texas Loop 1 frontage going to turn left on the Parma Lane there's two lanes that turn left we, we start out in the outside lane. FSD sees a country, a Mini Cooper countryman in the inside lane and has to cut it off. Why? No reason for it. Because you know what we do after we make the turn? We go back to the outside lane that we were in to continue. Didn't have to cut that car off. In fact, it wasn't even a factor in what we're doing. But because this is the way they trained FSD, it has to cut cars off. Doesn't sound very safe to me, but whatever. And of course, the countryman later, when he has a shot to get in front of me and slow down, he does. Yeah. Okay, how is this safer? You could have stayed in the lane we're in and go got around the curve. Whatever, peace and harmony. Um, other than stupid traffic tricks and so many people who think that 60 miles an hour means they should go 35, that's what Parmalene is now. It's full of people who go, oh, come on. Okay, whatever. Someday, knock on wood. I, I know it's not my, it's not my place to promise you this, but what I'm expecting is one chef SD sweeps the country, and who knows? It may, it may may happen, it may not. But if it does, then all of a sudden these people who are going 35 aren't driving cars anymore, and then it won't bother me so much if I'm doing 60 and 65 zone. Because everybody's doing 60 and 65 zone. We're all going to the same place, same. Yeah, you know, it, get, it gets better. Okay, whatever. Now, strangely enough, there was a guy who suddenly came up on my right, popped in front of me. He go fast. Traffic's not going to allow you to go fast. But he makes a big deal about getting in front of me. Okay, whatever. Um, finally coming up to Walmart. So, coming into Walmart, there, there's two janky ways for FSD to come in. The first way is you go in the west entrance and you make an almost immediately right and then go left, which brings you up to a stop sign. You have to stop at, and then you have to go up a little bit further 
and you come up to another stop sign, I think it is, and you have to wait for cross traffic to go by. Yeah, wonderful. The other choice is you go in a little bit and then you turn right and then you turn left right where that stop sign is for, for the first choice. Both of those involve several turns that don't seem to save anything unless there's a line of cars at that stop sign. The one where you go straight and you go and you turn right. Okay? Both janky, both stupid. Okay, today is one of those days where he has to do that stupid thing. All right, for some reason, he stops at the west entrance and appears that the car just stops there. Okay, break on this off, I'll go park the car. I mean, did it do anything really stupid this, on this segment? No. But would I prefer it done different? Yes. Okay, whatever, peace and harmony. All right, 21 miles, 34 minutes, 282 watt hours per mile. I don't know how clear, well, well, you can see this, but it says 114 degrees. Now, I'm not saying it is 114 degrees outside, but that's what the car thinks it is, Un under the hood, there, where, wherever they took the measurement. All right, total trip, 79 miles, 21 kilowatt hours, 272 watt hours per mile. Now, the energy usage indicates that the air conditioning is ripping. It has been ripping all afternoon. Yes, sir, Bob. All right, so going back, coming from Walmart to here. Uh, it was a little hesitant coming out of the drive from Walmart onto 1431, but we managed that, no problem. It pretty aggressively moved into the middle lane Wow, like that. Uh, human driver input moved them into the inside lane as we cross 183A, or just after, whichever way it is. And that's because that's where less traffic was. Okay? If there was less traffic in middle lane, I would have been perfectly happy with middle lane. Of course, for some reason, it's slow traffic in Cedar Park, but. I mean, that's just the way it is. Okay? No big deal. Um, after we cross New Hope, things start opening up a little bit. We're about to pass a semi uh, carrying uh, housing supplies. That that semi does a, does a brake check. I assume that's what he's doing. His, bra his brake lights are on, but I don't think he's really slowing down. He's just making sure the brakes are there which you're supposed to do if you're driving a semi. FST goes, oh, he, he's braking. I better brake too. Nope. Brake on this, see off. Send a message. Just because that semi is doing brake check doesn't mean you have to stop. Okay? And and there's one other place where we come across a group of cars. We're basically doing the same thing. I don't know why cars do it, but, they, but they're riding their brakes going downhill. Of course, maybe they're going too fast. What? What? You have to ride your brakes going downhill? Did you know in an EV I don't have to? In fact, it will regenerate energy back into my battery going downhill. Yeah. So why? You're spending more money on gas going downhill. I'm getting energy back. No, nobody ever really talks about that. I mean, they mention it. And it's not a lot, but I am getting some energy back. For nothing. Okay, there's a little wear on the on the motors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, other than that, yeah. Y your car can't do it, can it? Let me know when you're tired of all that soul that your ice car has. Because what all that soul do, it makes a lot of noise and it makes a lot of heat. Think about the cooling system you have to put on that ice engine to keep it operating. All the oil flow that you have to do through that engine to keep it operating 
because it produces so much wasted heat. Okay, whatever. Peace and Army. Soapbox over. Okay. So, no problems other than we're going a little bit slow. It's all fine. Finally at the traffic light in Jonestown, which one it's the only traffic light in Jonestown. It's a one light town, okay? Even even Lago Vista has more more traffic lights than Jonestown. Okay, whatever. Peace and harmony. Um at the traffic light, there's a pickup in front of us. He's in the outside lane. We're in the outside lane. Human driver, left turn saying, let's move over to the inside lane. Um at first, FSD wasn't going to do it, but then eventually he says, oh, wait, that might be a good idea. Now, it could be what he's doing. He's just taking a peek around the car, the truck. Okay? Maybe that's what he's doing. I'm not sure. If that's what he's doing, okay, fine. I get it. Otherwise, it, it just looks stupid. Right? And you got people following you like, you stupid. Fortunately, right now, there's not many cars around us. That's why I'm, I'm taking advantage of the time shifting over. And yes, when we pull away, we pull away well, but then that pickup goes, oh, I'll show you, I will catch up. Now, he went to the inside lane. He could have gone to the, out, stayed in the outside lane and gone by. A lot of people go 55 here in this 45 zone. Why? Because Jonestown police don't enforce it usually. They don't. Right now, I think they're short of cops. I mean, I only occasionally see somebody out there. All right, so anyway, we go through the construction zone. What's interesting is where all the construction workers are, FSD slows down to 40. But once he feels comfortable that there's no more construction workers, he speeds back up to 45. Okay, I'd rather he didn't slow down to 40, but at least there's a reason why he slowed down. And I can accept that. Okay? So, cruise along, FSD. Like I said, I guess we're just early enough. There's not that many people around us. Which is cool. That's awesome. Coming up to the turn on to Loman Ford. He does it in his usual manner. Yeah, so he comes up. You can see the dash lines open up. But FSD's not sure that means that that lane opened up so he's I don't know I don't, I don't know I, I I I get it they use those dash lines apparently for multiple purposes in Texas sorry um sorry not sorry <laughs> okay whatever so anyway as we turn on 11 forward you can feel he's kind of drifting a little bit to the outside but then he straightens back up he's on the inside awesome Stays on the inside lane all the way through. Perfecto. That's what should happen. Of course, we slow down as we go by the street that comes out from the elementary school. I mean, there's several streets, but there's one street where parent do parent pickup, and there's a bunch of cars parked along the road because they're going to do parent pickup. School zone's not active at the high school. No issues there come right through. Of course, Lindbergh Lane always trips, trips up FSD, but to be fair to FSD, the maps probably say, oh, you're supposed to take the right fork, which means you should signal right. Well, what we're really doing is we're curving slightly right to stay straight on Boggy Ford. He turns on his turn signal before Lindbergh Lane, which means to any human driver that I'm going to turn on right on Lindbergh Lane but I'm not, and navigation's not, and FSD's not. It just is stupid. Okay, whatever. The rest of the way, all the way home, no problems. Pull into my driveway perfectly. Awesomeness. Okay. So there was a spot where FSD went a little bit stupid, and that is coming from 1A3 going north on Texas one loop? Loop one? Sorry, Mopac. 
he went he went stupid there. Got a break on ST off. And for some reason, as we're coming up on the exit for towards domain, he wants to go to the middle lane. To be fair to FSD 12.3.6. 12.5.1.1 in that demo S Model S did exactly the same thing. So somebody somewhere has some stupid map data. It's not the place to be doing that stupid game. Okay, other than that, most of you probably would end up with a B if it weren't for those two incidents. The 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 exit from 183 on the Mopac. That's con that's all construction. It was confusing. But to be fair, 11.5.1.1 went a slightly different route, but it handled that construction. Now, he was going there, go through there by in a pretty good clip, which made me nervous, but he was he was like he's on rails. Okay? So there you go. So what's the grade today? The grade's a C. Um, I don't really have a target for an ice comparison day, so I won't do one. Which, in some ways, is really too bad because it's 21 kilowatt hours. It'd be interesting to compare it to somebody for 79 miles. But you already know the answer. I charge it at home, so I pay 11 cents per kilowatt hour. Yeah, so... Uh, nobody's going to compare that. So... Uh, the one thing I haven't mentioned, the gas prices here are about a dollar less than what they are in Utah. I'm not quite sure why. It, lo it looks like the prices came down about 20, 30 cents here in Texas. Or Austin area, Cedar Park area. But it's about a dollar difference. And Utah has refineries. At least it looked like it. They did. I thought that's what I saw in Salt Lake City. Why there? I don't know. But there you go. All right. So great to see. Onward up upward charge. Oh well, it's, it's it's finally winding down. Yes, the car is definitely feeling the heat. It, it was blowing the fans a lot just a few just a second ago.